Good morning. Happy Monday. This is Evangelist Marian, President of Jesus' Lord Crusades. We pray that this message will find you well. It will strengthen you. It will pull you out of the great waters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Today, I am just going to agree with you in prayer. Believing that these declarations that are about to come forth will bless your life. It will change you. It will catapult you to the next level where you ought to be. Where God has designed for you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm going to pray according to Psalm 144. I'm just going to pick some scriptures there and declare that over your life and declare that over your day. And when you get chance, you can open the scripture and use it to pray. There's some powerful prayers there. Um, Psalm 144 verses 5 to 8. I pray that God will give you understanding um, so that you can pray with understanding. You need to pray with understanding. You can't just pray prayers anyhow, but you need to pray with understanding. And that comes by the backing of the Holy Spirit when you pray. And so I want us to join our faith together as we make some of these declarations over your month, over your February, over the days that are ahead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says, according to Psalm 144, verses 5, Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Bow your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. This morning, we want to pray in the name of Jesus that whatever that mountain represents in your life, the Lord's mercy, by the mercies of God, he would touch those mountains in the name of Jesus. Whether it's a mountain for finance, whether it's a mountain for education, whatever that mountain represents in your life, the mountain of prayerlessness, the mountain of just strive, just strive. It's like things are just not going well. I decree in the name of Jesus, by the mercy and the goodness of God, let those mountains be touched in the name of Jesus. The mountains that you have not had enough faith to move, the mountains that you have not had enough faith to overcome, the mountains that you have not had enough faith to rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power, the mercy and the grace of God, let him touch those mountains. Father, touch the mountains, oh God, and they will smoke her. Father, touch the mountains in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever this mountain represents, maybe it's an illness, oh God. Maybe it's an issue that has lasted long enough. Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with my sister and brother. Let the mercies of God touch those mountains. Uh. Let flashing lights, the Bible says, uh, flash forth lightning and scatter them. Let the lightning of God scatter every mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. He says that shoot out your arrow and destroy them. Father, let your arrow, oh God, be shot this morning. Let your arrow be shot and destroy, oh God, every mountain. Destroy everything that is not of you in our life. Father, embarrass, bring confusion and frustrate anything that is not of God, that is fighting against your people, that is standing in the midst of your people, is standing, is preventing them to move ahead. We decree in the name of Jesus, let the arrow of the Lord destroy it. Let the arrow of the Lord bring confusion. Let the arrow of the Lord embarrass and frustrate it in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we decree and declare that stretch out your hand from above. Uh, set us free and rescue us from the great waters. Uh, I am not sure where your daughter is or where your son is, but you know where they are. Other version says, rescue us from the deep waters, from the deep waters. Rescue your children from the great waters. Waters, oh God. David said that even if I go under the sea, you are there. Wherever we are located, you see us, Father. I pray for someone right now who is listening, who is in the deep waters, Father. They are deep in debt. Whatever it is that these deep waters represent in life, I pray that, Lord, you will pull them out. Rescue them in the name of Jesus. Right now, bring rescue, divine rescue. Rescue your children from the deep waters in the name of Jesus out of the hands 
of their enemies, out of the foreigners that are surrounding them, out of the hands of their enemies, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver them from those who speak lying words. Uh, and Lord, with your right hand, bring salvation to your children in the name of Jesus, so that they will sing a new song unto you. They will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree and I declare for everyone who is listening, according to to your way. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the right hand of the Lord bring rescue. Let the grace of God abound in the name of Jesus. Deliver your children once and for all in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their sons, oh God, let the children of their youth be like plants full grown in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the daughters like corner pillars fashion for a palace. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, be delivered now from the great waters. Be delivered now from the great waters. I prophesy over you that your sons will flourish in their youth in the name of Jesus, like well nurtured plants. Your daughters be like graceful pillars carved to beautify a palace. My God, may your barns be filled with crops of every kind. May the flocks of your field multiply by the thousands. According to the word of the Lord in Psalm 144, even 10,000 in the name of Jesus. And may your oxen be loaded down with produce. My goodness. And may there be no enemy breaking through your walls and taking you into captivity. No crime of alarm in your town, in your home, in your marriage, in your life, in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus. And may the Lord deliver you from coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever it is, may you be delivered once and for all. Even as I speak over you, receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. May your finances be restored. May the peace in your marriage be, re be restored. May everything that you need right now, that which you need, may help come from heaven. Oh, unto your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare that this morning you are delivered once and for all from the deep waters. You are delivered for the Lord has touched your mountain. Begin to give God praise. Begin to thank God right now for touching your mountains. Uh, begin to thank God for touching your mountains, for bringing every insurmountable mountain down, for melting the mountains like wax before you are. Uh, begin to celebrate. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. For greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. Father, we thank you for listening to our prayer. We honor you this morning, oh God, this afternoon and this evening. And we decree and declare that your children are delivered. They have been delivered by the power in the name of Jesus. They are delivered now and forever from the deep waters, uh, from the hands of their enemy. They have been delivered. They have been delivered. Thank you for bringing rescue. Thank you for delivering them, oh God, from diseases, from plagues, from calamity in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that it is well with us and that we'll sing a new song unto you. We will praise you, adore you. Thank you for being our fortress. Thank you for being our tower of safety. Thank you for being our shield. Thank you for being our banner. Thank you for being our refuge. We submit to you. We give ourselves to you. Let the spirit of God ignite prayer in us. Let the spirit of God dwell in us. Help us, assist us, oh God, that we'll be able to do everything that you've asked us to do. I thank you for everyone who's listening. I decree and declare their day is blessed to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. This is Evangelist Marion, President of Jesus' Lord Crusades. Amen, amen, amen.